Hey everybody, this is Fanna Easter. Welcome to Duck Training Nation. And I wanna talk about my favorite everyday harness. As a dog trainer, I'm usually looking at harnesses from a training perspective. Um, a harness that can maybe stop a dog from pulling um, is usually when um, I start recommending a harness, especially some of the stronger pulling dogs. But I also like a harness for a dog, a smaller dog that's in class too. But I've never really found a harness that I liked. Um, I'm super, super, super picky and opinionated. And I know that harnesses are kind of got become popular, but I, I've seen a lot of dogs do these little ninja moves where they can just fold in their legs and come right out of a harness, which scares me. Um, then you get a loose dog. This was sent to me by Rough Wear. And um, I went ahead and I tried it out and I really, 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 really like it. Um, as you can see, my little dog that's wearing one, uh, I love it. And here's why. I, and and, and I, I know just telling you guys that I like something doesn't mean anything, um, but uh, do know I'm picky. But this is why I really do like it. These right here come right off. Boom, you put it over your dog's neck. Obviously it doesn't fit my Roddy. <laughs> but you put it over their neck. You can't fit in this one, this one's too little big boy. So you put this over their neck, then you just go ahead in and you close it right in over them. Okay? Awesome. And even though I like this, um, as like a collar that you can put over it and then hook this up. This has adjustable straps too, so that you can adjust it. Um, have this fit Stella, she's a bull terrier. And um, what I like about it is she's got this big chest with these little bitty legs. So I can adjust this for her chest so that it fits really well. The other thing that I really like about this harness too, it's got, it's really squishy. There's a lot of really good padding in here that you can kind of see. Um, and I like it because it's, it's all in the contact areas that really, like this is the dog, it's all right in here around that um, chest area all the way down through here. Also too, another thing that I like is, is that these straps give, there's some elastic to it. So that if your dog does pull, it's, it's got a little bit of a give to it and it's not gonna chafe. The other thing I like is big wide straps. These little skinny straps, ouch. That's gonna hurt, especially if a dog is pulling. Um, also, I think the thing that I like the most about this harness is the way it's actually constructed. Um, the head goes through here and you've got this area that's nice, wide and open. So that's not up against the dog's neck. So when they're pushing, it's not um, obstructing their airway. It is not pushing against their thyroid. It's not making them choke. This is further down, almost like a yoke down right in here in their chest. Um, and then the way the straps kind of come up It'll come up here, up here, and then these straps come through here and through here. Some harnesses that prevent a dog from pulling, they have this weird strap that comes, let me get this way, the strap that comes this way and then this way, and this one right that goes right underneath the arm. Now remember, this goes in front. There's one that goes right underneath the arm and then one that goes here. It's almost like it, it prevents the dog from extending their forelegs completely when they're moving. Um, and that's painful and I, you can watch shows or watch dogs um, at the park and you can see them they're just really stiff legged because they can't extend that leg out. Well, they can't pull, but they can't really walk either. I think that's kind of defeating the purpose. Your dog needs to be able to extend out um, because if they're not able to, it's gonna put pressure somewhere else. Also too, this goes further up in the back, all right? The other part that I like too is it's really secure. I've got a nice, really good, you can kind of see, it's like, I don't know, I guess it's metal, but it's really lightweight, um, so you can attach a leash. But the thing that I love the most is this front clip part. Okay, remember the head goes through here. So you can go ahead and you can clip your leash through here, and it really helps with dogs that pull too. For better results, you can take a double-ended leash, and you can attach here and here for dogs that really, 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 really pull. So yes, you can use this on a Chihuahua all the way up to a Rottweiler. Um, and it'll give you the control you need. Also too, when you're using this, make sure that it's nice and snug, but not pushing into the skin, um, because if it's too loose, it's gonna roll and chafe, and then they can get out. Um, but you want it to be nice and snug and comfortable. I mean, look at all this padding. It's just a glorious little harness. Easily washes, it comes in multiple colors. Um, I don't ever really kind of 
recommend a lot of things, but I really like this harness. So um, she is, and just to give you an idea, she is probably about 28, 30 pounds, wide chest, and she is in a small, and she is just, I mean, she probably could have gone up another size for here too. So follow their diagrams on what fits your dog. Make sure you measure. All right, this is Rough Wear. This is my review of them. Tell them that Dog Training Nation sent you. Fano specifically. I love, 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 love this harness. harness. So much. Um, absolutely my all-time favorite. I mean, I love this harness so much that I actually asked them if I could write an article on how to teach a dog to walk on a loose leash um, using this harness. And uh, I... I can't say enough good things. If you try it, you like it, post under this video and let us know that you like it so more people can see it's not just my opinion. Um, it's definitely cost effective. Same thing that you would get at a Petco, PetSmart, whatever store. Um, I do believe majority of these are online, um, but it's worth it. These guys are awesome. So, okay, that's my plug for rough wear. All right, that's it from me. Um, thank you for visiting us at Dog Training Nation. I'm Fanna Easter, and you can see, I think, my bull terrier in the back, and my Rottweiler walking through, drinking water in the back, so you know this is a real review. All right, thank you. Y'all have a good day. Bye.